Our cold snap will be with us one more night, but then Thursday afternoon the cold pool of air will move back towards the north a bit and shove off towards the east, and that'll allow things to warm up by Thursday afternoon. But of course, Thursday morning could be cold again with low temps going 10 to 20 below around our region. Once we get past Friday though, then things are going to start to change up towards the snowier. So if we start to warm up by Thursday afternoon and go back to normal temperatures on Friday, come Saturday we'll be warmer than normal and this low pressure system could bring us a 60% chance for perhaps two to four inches of snow. That's what the latest charts indicate. That offer of course could change on a moment's notice as new data comes in. So keep an eye on us here as we track this system for you. Let's take a look now at our short term forecast for Wednesday night into Thursday morning in Minnesota should be clear and cold again. Five below by the lake to as cold as 20 below well inland. And a wind chill advisory is with us again tonight, but really just running from International Falls towards Grand Portage, clinging to the Canadian border. In Wisconsin and Michigan, it'll be cool, but not as bad as it is in Minnesota, about 5 to 10 below. Partly cloudy for Wisconsin, folks in the UP might get a few lake-driven snow showers. And then for tomorrow, partly sunny in Wisconsin and Michigan, UP flurries, dry in Wisconsin, high temps mid to upper teens. And in Minnesota, well, lower teens to upper teens as the day goes on. These temperatures are just a little bit below normal though because they'll start to increase tomorrow afternoon. And as I mentioned, it should warm up a little more through Friday, then warm enough on the weekend for a chance for some snow. We talk more about how much could be coming down and how long that weekend snow will last on the CBS3 Evening News at 5, 6, and 10 p.m.